you know, well, last time we were able to come out, uh, you were sidelined and had a concussion. Yes. How much time did you miss there? Uh, I missed about a little over a week. I felt pretty good within a few days, but the coach just wanted to be safe and keep me out for a little longer just to make sure I was okay. But I've been feeling pretty, pretty good. For a while. So it was a fall? Or, uh, we really don't know exactly what happened. Just uh, We were playing one-on-one -on -one -on -one drill, and I like, walled up on that playing defense. and. I don't know if it was whiplash or something, but the back of my head started hurting. And then as I kept on playing, I started feeling really dizzy, and we all just decided to cut it. So I guess starting you know, Monday, you had Jake Hall back. And yeah. All 16 guys right. actually healthy. Right. Right. I mean, just how does it feel different to have everybody? Um, not necessarily different, but it feels better. I mean, knowing that no one's out and hurt and everything, it's good to have everyone back and know we have more bodies when someone's tired or someone's not playing as well and just come in and pick each other up, so it's good to have everyone back for sure. Would you, would you rate today's overall team performance as a pretty lousy scrimmage? Uh, it was pretty bad. We had a lot of turnovers, a lot of fouls, so we got to clean that up. Uh, I got to see the film of it and we'll get on it tomorrow, but I'm expecting tomorrow to be a long film day. Uh, we'll learn from it, but it was good. We, we need to play against each other more, uh, more five on five, and I'm looking forward to Sunday to play against someone different that we can really uh, see where we're kind of stacking up, even if it is a D3 team, just to kind of get an idea of what we are as a team. So. We run uh, pretty aggressive on rebounds and pretty aggressive on fouls. Yeah, he's, like... a, he's a junkyard dog. That's what he is, so he's going to play hard, and some fouls are going to come along with that. So. Mm. Go ahead, Scott. What's uh, maybe just been... Your biggest takeaway just for October practice is getting ready for that for me personally? Yeah, for you and then for the team as well. Uh, for me personally, I'd say I'm trying more to work on my post game. Uh, they're switching around my ball screen, so uh, try not to just pop as much and go down low and maybe make a move to score, uh, make a move to pass and get someone else open. You know, just as a team, we uh, we got to keep running, stay more conditioning, go to the glass more. Uh, sometimes we can be running and then a few minutes into it, we'll start getting tired and people will jog or stand straight up and we just got to get better conditioned and uh, really play more as a team. Also communicating. Uh, I think a lot of times today it felt really quiet in the gym and uh, that's something we really got to get cleaned up if we want to be an effective team this year. So those two things we really need to clean up. Maverick though, when, when you were doing that hippo stuff, mm -hmm. he seemed to be, you know, kind of doing a floor general. Yeah, yeah Mavs, I mean, that's four years of experience. It's just, he's learning, he has a, he's a really smart guy. And, uh, he has an idea for the game, and it, it's good to hear from him and hear from everyone, just see what they have to say about the game and helping us out. So. Big, big Bo. You said what? Big Bo's performance. Yeah. He, he's coming back. Big guy. Uh, I keep telling him he needs to use the left hand more. It's effective. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he goes his left shoulder a lot, and it's good, but once teams start learning that, it'll go to the right shoulder, and you know, it's hard to stop him, so cool. it'll be good for him. All right, I'm done. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, right. Mike. Appreciate it.